Dragon's Dogma keeps track of the most damage you've ever dealt in a single attack. But this is not the most damage you can deal in the game. The system just can't count that high. If you want to see a big number and that's it, skip to this part of the video. If you want to know how the hell this actually works, stick around. Have you heard of a little skill known as Act of Vengeance? I watched a video by Gamma V97 in which they used the skill to one-shot death, doing 2 million damage in a single swing. This is how they did it. Grab the Augment Tenacity. This Augment makes it very likely to survive a fatal blow the higher your health is. Then they got a man-eater from a chest to cast Exequy. If you're inside Exequy when the circle completes, you'll instantly die. But thanks to Tenacity, you'll survive on one health. This is where Active Vengeance comes into play. Vengeance absorbs the damage taken while charging it, and releases it back at four times the power. Thanks to Tenacity, you won't die from Exequy, and Active Vengeance can safely absorb the damage. Then you throw all that damage back at the enemy, one-shotting literally anything in the game. After witnessing this, my first thought was, Damn, that's insane! Immediately followed by, So what's the most damage you can actually deal in the game then? But this can already one-shot everything in the game. Why does it need to deal more damage? I hear you say. And you were completely right. But like, what about the like, wh what about big number? By the way, you should watch Gamma V's YouTube channel. I linked it in the description. Their stuff is really cool. Active Vengeance scales off of how much damage it received while charging. Your character's strength stats don't actually matter. This means strength boosters won't change anything either. All we need to worry about is boosting the amount of damage we receive boosting the amount of damage the enemy receives, and not having our own damage reduced. Ericles is a sword that increases the damage you take by 50%. It does several other things, but that's all we care about right now. We can inflict ourselves with curse to increase the damage we take as well. Then, if we stack four silver wheat pastes, we'll have four stacks worth of lowered magic defense inflicted on our character. This debilitation actually multiplies the magic damage you receive, rather than lowering your magic defense. All we have to do is unequip our armor as Exequy finishes to take the most amount of damage possible. We've made sure our character takes the most damage possible from Exequy. Now let's see how we can increase the amount of damage the enemy takes. Our poor victim will be a Saurian. This is because Saurians are weak to curse and sleep debilitations, both of which increase the damage received. Better yet, when you cut off a Saurian's tail, they take double damage. Then, we just smack his head with a power that could kill a million of his kind. Finally, we need a source of exequy. This chest and garden of ignominy has a good chance of spawning a mania, so we'll use that. After we break free from it, we let it cast exequy. Three hundred and four million five hundred and fifty three thousand one hundred and fifty two damage. These results made me very happy, but the in game damage counter couldn't even count it. Thankfully, I had an external mod called Dinput to keep an accurate damage log. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Right after this, however, I thought up a very bad idea. A a Act of Vengeance just scales infinitely, so like. Holy shit, what? Whoa, 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 what, what if I stacked multiple? What if I stacked multiple exequies? Can I do that? And then heal up again. Right. Panacea. Okay, here it goes. What's the highest damage in Dragon's Dogma? The answer to that is how many exequies can you absorb? Jesus fucking Christ. Look at those fucking numbers, bro. <laughs>
these are the augments I used, but none of them were really relevant except for tenacity and aggression. Aggression halves the inputs required to escape a grab attack. My base stats, however, were 1 to 10 fighter and 11 to 200 assassin, which gives me the lowest magic defense in the game at max level. If anyone makes new discoveries to increase the damage further, I will add them to a pinned comment. I'd like to quickly thank the contributors to the Dragon's Dogma wiki for providing the info necessary to pull this off.